guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books and Shame here with a book haul for you. I was not planning on filming this, but I posted on my Instagram that I was getting rid of a ton of books and everybody was like, please film an unhaul and I was like, okay. I will not take these to where I'm taking them until I have done a unhaul for you guys. If you didn't see my video on Monday of last week, I, I think, I don't know when this is going up, I hauled a ton of books and I have no room on my shelves. I have one, two, three, four, five, six of these big bookshelves. I have another smaller one here and I have another smaller one in my bedroom and I have two book carts. I have too many books. I needed to do a purge, go through and get rid of a bunch, and I have gone through one move with these bookshelves. I lived in an apartment for four years, and I think I've lived in my house now for four years. So my thinking was if this has been with me since my apartment and I still have not read it, I'm gonna get rid of it. If it's something I've read and gave three stars, I'm gonna get rid of it. And other various reasons. So I do have this bag. I'm not gonna unpack it. Um, it's a ton of classics and I'm an English teacher. I love classics and I have not read any though in really long time because when I'm reading I want to read something like a romance that I will really enjoy and not another classic when that's what I'm doing teaching. So I am not gonna read these. I have ones that I've read. I mean like I've read Of Mice and Men but like am I gonna read... I have a picture door in gray. I literally read this every year with my kids because I teach it. I don't need a random copy at home. I have The Great Gatsby. Am I ever going to reread this for fun? No. I have Oliver Twist. I have a bunch of other things in here and I'm just like, I'm, I don't need to have these sitting at my house when I have pretty much all of them at school. So those I'm just taking to school. If it's something that's YA or a classic, it goes to my classroom. I forgot to add, do not ask me for any of these books, I am not going to give them to you. I have two friends I'm sending stuff to, the rest I might give away on my Instagram or I'm going to donate to Goodwill or if it's appropriate put it in my classroom. I teach mainly 10th grade. I am someone who doesn't feel comfortable selling things I'm sent for free so I don't have an online shop at all for people to buy from. I don't have time to pack a ton of books either. I'm busy, so I donate my books. I don't think it's fair really to companies when they send me a book for free for me to turn around and sell it, especially if I upsell it like some of these are worth more than what the they were originally sold for. I'm not gonna turn around and sell something for $100. I think that's not right, so I'm not gonna do that. But I will go ahead and get to some books. So the first two that have been on my TBR for a long time that I still haven't picked up are these JM Dar Hour books. These are Mafia. I've literally had these since I lived in my apartment. You may think they're really good. I have no desire to read them. So say what you want in the comments, but I'm already dead set on giving these away. Um, I already have a friend I'm giving these to who really wanted them. So I was like, I will send them to you. Another friend, I sent a photo of all my books and I was like, do you want me to send any to you? Is book four in the King's Club series by Almo Jones. This one, I read the first one, I didn't like it. And I was like, I know my friend's obsessed with Almo Jones. So I'm glad she said she wanted this one. We have Man in Charge by Laurel and Page. Some of these are from book boxes. So this one is signed. I don't know if this is a special copy or not, but literally have had this for a long time not gonna read it I also met Kay Bromberg in like 2019 and I was really excited to meet her because she was super popular I got a bunch of her books I got cuffed and sweet cheeks and the hard way still have not read anything in these are it's 2022 so I think it was either 2018 or 2019 I met her so I am giving these to my friend as well so those are the only ones I'm sending to friends all of the rest I'm just getting rid of one way or another so I will definitely set some aside for a giveaway if they're like newer books but they're older a lot of these are really old so we have a lot of romances that were really popular back in the day these are what Night Owl and Last Night it's part of the Night Owl trilogy I bought these like on a used website. Really wanting to read them. I think it's Professor Student. I don't even know, but have not touched them since I bought them in like 2017. We also have Title by Emily Snow. I don't know if this is like a surfer romance, but it's another one that has literally been on my shelves for way too long. Sweet Sin by JT Geisinger. I'm just not interested in her... Oh, it's signed too. It must have been in a book box. I'm just not interested in her contemporary. I mainly just want to pick up her dark romance. So another one, I'm not super into rock star romances that much either. So like the next one also has been in my life since I had my apartment taking the lead by Celia Tan. I have not picked it up. It's an older one as well. And I'm just not loving traditionally published romances. And so Rockstar romances I'm not gravitating towards recently. I also have Marriage on Madison Avenue by Lauren Lane. This one I actually liked, but 
I'm never gonna reread it. I never usually recommend it in, in videos, and so there's no reason it's on my shelf. I keep, like, I don't reread a lot, but I keep my books that I really love and or love the author or have gotten to meet the author. This one, it was just fine, but it doesn't need to stay on my shelves. I'm not, like, dying to keep it. This one I'm going to be giving away. The publisher sent this to me unsolicited, so that means that I didn't ask for it and they didn't ask me if I wanted it. It's Vanessa Jared's Got a Man. Again, I'm not super excited about a lot of traditionally published romances lately, so this one I'm going to put in my giveaway pile for giveaway on Instagram with a couple of these. I might add this to it too, A Girl Like Her by Talia Hibbert. I liked it. I'm never going to reread it, and I don't know if I'll ever meet Talia Hibbert because she is British. So this one I got at Half Price Books. I read it. I enjoyed it, but again, it's not something that I'm like obsessed with, and it's not something I need taking room on my shelves. Then mm, we'll go here. We'll go some more over here. So I have Creatures of the Night by Grace Collins. This is a book that I read for a sponsored video from Wattpad. It was it was good. I gave it four stars, but again, I'm not super invested in this book or keeping it on my shelves, so I'm going to be donating this one as well. I was also sent Drunk on Love by Jasmine Guillory from the publisher Unsolicited, so I'm not the biggest fan of Jasmine Guillory anymore. I enjoyed The Wedding Date, and I think I enjoyed one other book in that series, but I read like two others and I just did not like them. So I'm not interested in her newer stuff. This one's definitely going to go in a giveaway since it is a new release. I also have some Willow Winters books. She reached out to me on TikTok like six months ago, sent me some of her books. I'm not the biggest fan of her, so I am not going to keep these. They are also giant, so I don't need these on my shelves. So those are going to be going. I also have, this one I might give away, Unconscious Hearts by Harper Sloan. I haven't tried this author, and I've had this book for so long. Like, this book came out in 2018, and I feel like I've had it for a very long time. Nothing about it makes me want to pick it up, so I am going to get rid of this one as well. Like, if it's just been on my shelves for too long, I'm not going to pick it up anytime soon. So, and then I have a bunch of these that I got for free at a signing, and I think this was the Readers on the River signing I went to. I don't read novellas that often, and I definitely don't own a ton of novellas. I'm not interested in this. I also have never read Christopher Rice, and I'm not interested. So that's going as well. We have some mass markets. So we have Cecilia Ahern. I was in my like contemporary women's fiction phase getting out of high school, and I feel like I've had this since like I was 19. I really wanted to read P.S. I Love You. I was into Emily Giffen and Sophie Kinsella. I've been holding on to this, and I'm like, why do I still have this? Like, this is from, like, 2005, so I don't need it. I'm not into that genre of women's fiction. Oh, sorry, 2006. I was super close, but that's leaving. I also have these two from Alyssa Cole. This one I was super disappointed in. I didn't love it, and this one I think I just thought was okay, but I'm not going to reread these, so... I don't also own a lot of mass market contemporaries, so to save room on that shelf, I'm gonna get rid of these because I just don't need them. I also have one and only by Jenny Holiday. I think this one was just okay. I do remember that I read it, but again, I don't need to keep it. It was fine. I've already read it. I do have an extra copy of A Daring Pursuit. I'm going to check with my friends if any of them need this. Sometimes the publisher will send it to me, and sometimes then the author will also individually send it to me, or I pre-ordered it, and then the publisher sends it to me. This one I believe I pre-ordered in the Barnes & Noble sale, and then the publisher sent me a copy. I'm, it's very hit or miss with publishers if I'm going to get a copy or not, so if it's something I really, really want, I make sure I pre-order it. So this one's going to be for a friend. And then I have Daring in a Blue Dress by Katie McAllister. Again, this is one I think I got for review way back when and I never got around to it. 2016. I've been reviewing books for Berkeley since around 2016 so I have some of their older releases that I just never got around to reading that they sent me and I don't need to keep books that are six years old that I am not going to pick up if I haven't picked it up in six years. So then we'll go here. Um, some more that were on my classics shelf. I thought it'd be really cool and intellectual buying these and I never, I did read this for a class actually, but I'm never going to reread this. And then I was like, oh, let's buy some Sylvia Plath and see what she's all about. I don't want to read these. I just like to read my romances. So these two, I'm finally admitting I'm never going to get around to reading. I also have this one that's been on my TBR for a very, very long time. Haven't picked it up, probably won't pick it up soon. And another one, this one I've had just for so long and I keep on holding on to it because it's a sports romance, I think, but again, I have a few more Willow Winters that I'm getting rid of. I also did read this one and I hated it, so I don't need to keep that. 
bunch of Willow Winters that I'm just not interested in holding on to. And then I do have Austin Land, which again, I think I bought like when I was 19 and I was reading all those books and the movie came out and I was like, I'm gonna read the book because the movie's out. I don't feel like reading this. So we're gonna get rid of it. It does feel very good to like get rid of books. I also am finally going to get rid of this series by Sarah Nye. I'm not super into New Adult anymore and I think I enjoyed the first one. I think I gave it four stars. It was like a wrestling romance, but I'm not like itching to pick these books up. I, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of New Adult anymore. Sarah Nye is just like an okay author to me. I don't love her. So I'm just like, stop holding on to these because I've had these for years. Still haven't continued on with the series. I know I won't pick it up anytime soon. So those are also going to be going away. Then I have, this one I didn't know. I was going to look at reviews because I think I didn't love the first book by this author. Yeah. So I read one book by this author and I wasn't the biggest fan. It's Where We End and Begin by Jane Igaro. I, again, was sent this unsolicited. I might either give it away or just check out reviews and see if it's something I'm interested in reading, but it went on the pile of I didn't request this. I'm probably not going to get to it soon. I try really hard not to request books unless I know I'm going to get to them because my TBR is massive. So when they send them to me unsolicited, I probably won't get to it because I have so much reading to do. I, these covers, I was like, I'm going to read these. They look so good. And I think I've heard really good things about this. But again, I've had these since my apartment. I've not picked them up in four years. I'm not going to pick them up anytime soon. So these are going to go as well. And then again, another one is the Victoria Denault one. Again, I mean, like if it's traditionally published as well, I'm not as excited either. So this one is also going, it is a hockey romance. And then this one, I bought it because it's Callie Reed, but I don't know anything about it. And I'm already struggling to finish her Surviving Trace series. So I'm not going to ever get to this one. So I'm like, I'm just, Gonna, if there's even a hesitation of like, oh, will I read it? No, it's gone. I am finally admitting I'm going to stop trying Megan Quinn because I have read a handful of her books and I don't like them. So we have Megan Quinn and Sarah and I. I feel like their writing style just is not for me. I don't really get their humor. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And then I also have The Secret to Dating Your Best Friend's Sister. I picked these up because I was going to see her at a signing and then I never read them because I read other books and I was like, I don't feel like reading her books. Then The Trade, I hated the first book in this series. I don't even remember if it was a one but I gave it like one star I was so I've not been wanting to pick up any of the rest of the series so I'm just gonna get rid of Megan Quinn it's not gonna happen between me and her and I'm, I'm accepting that then I have Penelope Ward stepbrother dearest I am just not really into Penelope Ward or Vi Keeland anymore they were like huge when I was getting into romance and like when the indie scene was happening and I feel like they still are pretty popular but I don't have any desire to pick this up so I just kind of outgrown them as writers. These also I got from a signing in like their swag bag. They're all novellas. They're all like the hundred dark nights, thousand one dark nights. I don't know. So, and I think they are like are also connected to these authors books, which I haven't read. I haven't read the Wicked series. I've not, I think I've read one Rebecca Zanetti and I haven't read the series by Lexi Blake. So those are going as well. Oh, maybe I should put the Megan Quinn aside to give away. I feel like people would like that. Then I have Road to Fire by Maria Luis. I think this was in a book box I got for free and I am not interested in picking this up. I also have the series, which I've already read years ago in my apartment and I'm not going to pick it up again so I was like I'll get rid of those. I also have another one that I don't even remember where I got this. I feel like I want it in some like giveaway that had multiple books in it. Never even remembered I had this and I don't feel like picking it up. So I also have Fixed on You by Laurelyn Page. This was a free one I got at a signing that I don't want to read. And then I got Tattoo Killer by AJ Norris. I feel like I bought this at a signing when I met the author like six years ago or something. This is another one where I'm like I didn't even remember I had this and I don't feel like reading it. So I'm going to get rid of those. Then we have this stack here. Let me move it over. We've got a lot. I think it's funny because I shared my friends this stack and they were laughing that I put this in here. I hate the series. I DNF'd it after this book. So no reason to hold on to that. I'm very happy I didn't buy them like my other friends did. We all did a reading vlog reading the Crossfire series. Some of them bought the whole series. I'm glad I didn't. I have Lolita. I've already read this. I'm not gonna reread that. Landline by Rainbow Rowell. I read this back when it came out and I really liked it, but again, like, I'm not gonna reread it. No need for it to take uh, room on my shelves. It's not a favorite. I do have this whole Pepper Winter series that is something with the, um, 
like booklet. This is something I want to give away. I'm a rep for Mystic Box, so I do get these for free. I've never read Pepper Winters, and I don't read my special editions, and I know people, oh, it's Tears of Tess. I know people really love this series, so I feel like it'll be in better hands of someone who absolutely loves it, especially because they're special editions. These are ones that you could probably get a lot of money for that I'm not going to sell for because I don't, I don't like it when that happens. <laughs> this is another one I've had on my shelves for a very, very long time and never wanted to pick it up, so that's going away. This one is part of the Smarty Pants romance from Penny Reed. I'm not a big fan of Penny Reed, so I don't really know what her series is about, and I don't, I think I got this in a book box, so I didn't buy it myself, and it's been on my shelves for a while, so this one is also going to be going away. Jodi L. Melpes, her stuff from like the Fifty Shades days, I'm not into those books. I didn't like the Crossfire series. I don't need to read her other stuff, so that's going to be donated as well. Sometimes I will have arcs of books that I have a finished copy of, so I have a finished copy of this one, so I'm not holding on to my arc, so this one is going to be donated. And then another one that I was sent for a sponsored video. I read it. I did the sponsored video. It was pretty good, but again, I don't need to keep this on my shelves, so this one as well is going to be donated. And then I'm coming to an end. Thank goodness. We'll keep it under 20 minutes. That's at least a good goal. We have two more from book boxes. I think it's either Belle or Mystic. I'm not the biggest fan of these authors, so these are going to be given away at some point. Maybe I'll just do like a giant special edition giveaway to people. We have Must Love Books, which is a just traditionally published. I couldn't tell if it was women's fiction or romance, and it was sent to me from Sourcebooks unsolicited, so I am just going to give that away. And then another one unsolicited is a cowboy shifter romance. He's an assassin? I don't know. I don't have time to read all these that I have. I have a lot of cowboy romances. So this one was one that I was like, nah, I probably won't get to this, so we'll go ahead and just donate that one. Another one that I read, I actually think I listened to the audiobook of this one when it came out and I wasn't a big fan of this. So I'm going to give that one away. I've been holding on to this because this was a gift from a friend, but I did read it and gave it three stars. So I'm not going to hold on to it just because it was a three star read and it's nothing important to me. So Lisa, if you're watching, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I appreciate you for getting this for me, but I did read it and I wasn't the biggest fan. So I am going to be donating that one. We also have Vanessa Vale, Teach Me the Ropes. This was free at Book Bonanza. Like I said, I have a million and one cowboy romances already. I also have these two, which I read. I've sent them from the publisher. I've already read them. I think I gave three, both of them three stars. Like I said, traditionally published romances just are not hitting it for me this year. So I didn't love these. These are going to be in a giveaway. So check out that. I also have these two, which I was sent from the publisher as well, unsolicited. So we have Jane Ann Krantz as Jane Castle, who is also Amanda Quick. And this is in a series, so I'm pretty sure this is in a series. It says it's a Harmony novel, and I haven't read anything by Jane Castle or Jane Ann Krantz. I've only read her books as Amanda Quick, so I'm not really interested in reading that. It was just sent me unsolicited. And then we have Stacey Abrams as Selena Montgomery, Rules of Engagement. Um, I've read a Stacey Abrams as Selena Montgomery book before and I didn't love it. It was like courtroom drama and that's just not my thing. And I think that this one is like that. Yeah, so this one's a romantic suspense. They're undercover. There's like environmental technology. I don't know. It's just like not the romantic suspense I like. I like like the small town romantic suspense. So I'm gonna have that as my giveaway as well. So those are the books. I also have like a bunch of other classics that you really don't care about that I'm giving away and or donating. And yeah, that's my reasoning for them. Most of them, like I said, I just have no urgency to pick them up or I've read them and I'm like, I don't need to keep these around. So I hope you enjoy. I, I'm just getting rid of those books. That's really it. But let me know if you've read any of these and what your thoughts are about these books. That's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.